Hey guys, I'm LB, and today I want to play Teslagrad. Now, originally I was going to play Vessel, and I did play about half of Vessel, and then as soon as I uploaded the first episode, uh, three content ID claims. Nope, I'm not gonna deal with that right now. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to save that for later, so... Vessel's backed up, let's start Teslagrad. I know very little about this game. I think I've seen up to the first boss in terms of gameplay. And I know that it has to do with magnets, and for some reason I've always noticed that magnets in games don't always work the same way that magnets in real life do. They typically use like this red and blue color scheme and like, I can't remember if it's opposites attract or, or the same attract or whatever. It's always different from games in real life, so let's just get started. I know that the story is kind of like heart-wrenching as you can see a father carrying his baby there with the, the fire in the background. So, uh, yeah, let's just get started on our... on the story here. Time passes. A lot of time passes. Oh man, a lot of time has passed. Now, I don't actually know what the history is going on here, because I have not stuttered, studied European or British history or any of that stuff, so... Let's see, why does it move space to jump? The usual stuff. But yeah, I've, I've only really studied US history, so I don't actually know what this is pertaining to, but I'm pretty sure this is not US history. Really good art. Really cool art. Of course, good music. Oh man, I almost fell down there. Okay, so he automatically grabs and climbs. I don't have to, like, press up or anything. Ooh. Go falling platforms. There we go. Okay, so on these vines... Okay, I can press up and down to climb. That's good to know. Wait, what if I... If I just hold right, nothing happens. So I have to press up. Okay. If I just press up without holding right, yeah, okay, good. Whoa, that was a interesting transition. Oh, I can hold down. Cool. That's uh what's this over here? Interesting. Bet there's like some sort of achievement or secret related to that, right? Oops, come on. Hey, I'm on top of this. Oh, I can hold up to look up. That's- that's also cool. I didn't know that. Okay, let's get started. Let's actually head towards some actual puzzles. I think at one point there's gonna be some guys chasing me, and I'm gonna have to run away from them. Uh, yeah, this looks like it here. Hopefully... I don't really get chased yet, because that would be, you know, bad. Okay, I don't see anybody down there, but you never know. Oh, nope, there's somebody chasing me. Oh, electricity, that's, uh, probably not good. <laughs> this is cool. The music's really relaxing, though. It doesn't really seem like the music should be this relaxing. Not really sure what's going on with that. Oh, so there's no fall damage, that's good to know. Oops, come on. What happened to the guy chasing me? Is he just- am I just way ahead of him or something? I don't know. I seem to remember this introduction sequence being a lot more complicated than it is right now. Oh look, there he is. Okay, so he was just trying to get the, the cat on me. Maybe it's a, even a different guy, who knows. Oh, who is that guy? That looks like the leader or something. Man, look at the parallaxing backgrounds. That's cool. I'm always a fan of, like, 2D games that do this hand-drawn style. It's really nice. It's like, uh, I, I later found out that in, uh, The Swapper, they actually made everything, all the art, with clay. And I didn't know that going in, so that kind of explains why it looks like Vessel, almost. Ah, yes, I think we're in safety now. 
<laughs> They've got art for him pushing against the wall. That's cool. Man, look at this. Okay, so this looks like storyline here. Teaching us about the, the gravity stuff. Whoa, this is, uh... Oh! Haha! <laughs> That's cool. Look at this little guy. He's, he's helping me. Let's see, does he hurt me? Nope. So I can touch him. He's completely harmless. What about this guy? This guy also appears to be harmless. <laughs> does not like being messed with, though. I don't even know if there's health in this game. I don't even think there's dialogue in this game. There, I didn't see a subtitle. Oops. Well, there's death in this game, that's for sure. I didn't see a subtitles option. But, yeah. So let's see here. So now we have to... Oh, gosh dang it, I touched him again. We have to avoid that thing so that we don't get magnetized or whatever. Okay. So that's teaching us how the magnetism works. So, sames repel, and opposites attract. So it is like in real life. That's good to know. Oh, I'm supposed to... duh. I'm supposed to stand on this one over here. Hope I don't get crushed. There we go. Wow, this is a... big area. What's this thing up here? This little light is telling me to follow it. And follow it, I will. Hey, what did I get? Uh... Oh... Okay, so, I'm glad I rebound those keys, because I would not like using the arrow keys for that. Or maybe I would, I don't know. For some reason I thought I'd be using the mouse, but obviously I'm not using the mouse so far. Oh well, I'll just leave it on Q and E. Q, E. And then... Yeah, okay, so what if... Dang it, I wanted to do the opposite. Oh well. Can I, uh... Can I jump up? No. Oh well. Okay, so I can't go over here right now. I guess I just have to go back from whence I came. Man, I did- I did do the opposite. They're opposite colors, oh my gosh. So I did do the opposite, but they're also opposite colors, so I should've done the same. Oh well. Man, look at these- Look at this art, this is beautiful. Oh, I know, it's taunting me. Hey, look, there's... I've never seen that before. He's literally outside looking for me. How does... How does one get up there? Can't look down here. Okay, good. Now I gotta remember which one's which. Maybe I do... Maybe I understand now why arrow keys are involved. Like, I could've sworn this was a keyboard and mouse game, but nope, it's just keyboard. Uh, oh. Interesting. Oh, that just opens itself? Huh. Interesting. Let's see... Ah! Ah! So if I do that... I can control the direction. That's cool. I can't do that. Huh. Wonder how I get to that upper area. Okay, can't do anything to that. What is, uh... What are these symbols telling me? Telling me I can't- Oh, the X's mean that I can't do anything. Got it. Come on. Oh, is that guy gonna do it for me? Ah, yes, that guy is gonna do it for me. 
Uh, there we go. Cool. Magnetism. <laughs> oh no. This is, uh, cool, but... Uh... Not very easy to control. Ah, there we go. Finally made it. And... okay, so... Do that. Awesome. I wonder if it's gonna be red ones. Oh! Haha! <laughs> Didn't even see what that was. Didn't even see what that was. Ooh, this is, uh... Interesting? What the heck's going on here? This is a creepy place. Well, alright then. <laughs> Let's see. So, we want to avoid- Oh, nope! That's- that's exactly what I wanted to avoid. That is death. Okay, so there are, um... Well, no, never mind. I was thinking of something else. Just trying to focus here. Uh, where do we want to go? Ooh, what the... Man, this is a dark screen. Where is this? Interesting. Oh, come on. Let me down here, please. Can't see down. What do these guys do? Ha! I can charge him! Oh, th <laughs> that's so sad. Alright, well... What about... Oh, when he walks under it, it's gonna lift me up. Cute! That's clever! Okay. Ah. This is cool, I like this. Can't do anything there. But I can do that, which does that. Oh, cool. There's something up... There's an up area there, but I, I can't really get to it. Oh. I need you to come back. Come on, come back. Don't worry, I don't bite. But I will punch you. Thank you. And then I just wear, wait for it to wear off. Oh, goodness. No, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. What happened there? That was, uh... Weird. So what is, uh... Oh, that's interesting. He when he hits his head, he does an animation thing. What's up here? Uh, I can't get up there. So maybe we come back later. There's a lot of it's starting to feel like Metroidvania. I don't really necessarily like Metroidvania games, but if it's a puzzle game instead of an actual Metroidvania, maybe I can tolerate it. Oh my goodness, what the heck is happening to me? Oh, this is nonsense. This is Tesla Grad. No, come on. Stop. Stop. Stop pushing me. What's the... Come on. <laughs> Let me go. Ah, thank you. Oh, man. That was, uh, quite a challenge. What the... Are you serious? I... Okay. Lesson learned. The checkpoints are not... are not helpful. Okay, that time I made it through much more easily. Jump over that, please. Okay, what do we want to do here? Uh, I guess this is just a way to get back. Cause I can't go oh, can't go down there at all, really. Oh, 
Wrong color. Thank you. Wee. Interesting. Haha. <laughs> uh, do I want to go this way? Uh, ooh. This looks like a boss battle area. What is... what is down here? Oh, that... that just sends me back, apparently. Oh, and the platform automatically responds. That's good to know. Okay, so that's just the way back down there. That's not actually anything where I need to go. So, I believe that this is the first boss. I'm looking at these diagrams here, so we put the boxes below him, he eats them, and then... gets upset? I think that's what they're saying. Oh, goodness. Well then... Oh no. <laughs> uh, what colors do I want? Blue? No, let me- don't- don't kill me please. Jump up here, and then what? Uh... What do I do now? No, really, what do I do now? What is this thing for? Uh, well, it's not there anymore! You know what? Wait, what did I do? How did I do that? What did I just do? Oh, well... I guess there's that. Let me... I didn't know this was gonna be an issue like this. <laughs> Let's change these back to... defaults. Okay. So now... There's this. Now with the arrow keys. Okay. Oh, I guess one of those boxes must have gone up there on its own or something. Oh, maybe this is- maybe those things were saying that he has to eat three in specific? And then he breathes fire, but how do I- how do I handle him breathing the fire, though? What am I supposed to do when he breathes the fire? Do I just have to run from it? Uh, <laughs> so I just avoided it. Oh, goodness. Uh, next phase, I guess? Same thing? Same deal? I'm assuming it's the same deal. I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Am I supposed to, like, be getting up to him when he does this suction thing? Oh, goodness. Oh, dang it, I... I touched... I touched the edge. Am I really supposed to be climbing up to him? Uh, 
know? Let me try standing on the big one. When he's actually doing his suction thingy. Uh, no, that did not do anything, my friend. I am sorry to say that nothing was accomplished by doing that, apparently. Is that doing something bad to him and I just have to avoid his fiery wrath? Not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Come on, boxes. Do your physics. Is the conveyor moving faster or is that just my imagination? Because I knew it was moving faster for that brief moment there, but maybe it's moving faster than the first wave. I don't know. Oh, goodness. Seriously? Alright, well... We're gonna have to figure this out next episode. <laughs> I literally have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing, unless I just have to do that three times. But... That is a hard thing to do, if so. Anyway... As usual, if you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you, and I will see you in the next episode.